when you're young and you're raising a little girl by yourself, there's just there's just things that don't come naturally to you, you know. Being the tooth fairy was one of them. So when my daughter lost her first tooth, keep in mind this was many, many years ago now because she has braces, and I'm super proud that I got her braces. But many years ago when she lost her first tooth, I had it in my head, like all oh, those tooth fairy stories, you know, uh, that should, I should do what the tooth fairy, you know, stories say. Take the tooth out and uh, put it under your pillow, and the tooth fairy gives you a nickel, quarter, dollar, and, and, and with inflation, it's like five bucks now, which is ridiculous. Who gives that much for a teeth, man? I heard, I heard parents giving their kids like twenty bucks for a tooth, and it's like, what's wrong with y'all? There's just there's, there's gonna be kids just pulling their teeth out for money at that point, man. So. I kind of think that that whole tooth fairy thing is like a, some sort of critical thinking test, you know, some sort of litmus test to see if anyone's actually paying attention, okay? Because this is what happened to me when I was doing the tooth fairy act job the first time, okay? So my daughter lost her tooth. I told her that, you know, she should put it under her pillow so that way she can get, you know, some money from the tooth fairy. I hadn't determined if I was going to give her a dollar or three dollars or whatever, you know, but I wasn't going to like get crazy with it, but I just knew a quarter. It was like, man, what are you going to do with a quarter? You know, so she goes to sleep and I, uh, I sneak in there as quietly as possible. And I think to myself, how am I going to get that tooth without waking her up? And so I, I quietly creep and snag the tooth. And once I get the tooth, you know, I'm, I'm almost home free. You know, I still got to put the dollar or whatever in there under the pillow, you know. And as I'm about to, you know, reach for the money, my, my daughter just wakes up and starts looking around. And this is like one of the rare moments in my life where I kind of panicked, okay, because I don't want to screw this up for my daughter. I don't want her to be like, what are you doing here? You know, and then you just, and so I, um, so what I ended up doing, keep in mind, so my daughter's like, she just like alerted, okay? She isn't awake, she alerted because she's like, she was sleeping and then she felt something. She, you know, she, that's what the kids do. And I just went, hey. Look how dirty your room is. When you wake up in the morning, you clean this first thing. And so she was just like, huh? Ah. And like went back to bed. And I don't know why I thought the first thing to do was to yell at her and, get, and make her think she was in trouble. I think in my head, it was something like, if she remembers seeing me the previous night, it would be like, almost like a bad dream or something. I don't know, but I think, but it worked. Okay, and I, I, I barely got the dollar under the pillow and then I just, you know, I left and, so you know, if you don't want to trick your child into thinking they had some sort of weird dream where you were yelling at them in the dark. So something I learned later on is, instead of having the tooth under the pillow, tell them to put it on the shelf, tell them to, how we did it was to put it in a little cup of water I don't know why, but, you know, it gives it a little more custom, you know, uh, flair. Like, oh, that's the tooth fairy won't show up unless it's it's in, the, in water, you know. And that way it's it's sitting out on a shelf, not under the pillow where you can wake up your child. So, you know, so don't do that, okay? So if you're going to be a tooth fairy, don't tell them to put under the pillow. That's just, that's a trick. That's, that's a dirty trick for, for newbie parents, so... FYI.